Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Friday night watch chat with the guys. I guess I should add that with the guys. I don't know why I say that. Anyway, um, hope you guys had a great week, and uh, and let's have a little fun tonight. Tonight, joining us is uh, Chris from over at the Watch Lounge. Hey, Chris, how you doing, man? Good, bud. How are you? Good. Thanks good. for having me on. Yeah, no problem, man. Anytime. So, um, you know, I. I you know, when I first got into the hobby, right, uh, or actually when I first got into making videos, um, you were one of the first people I, I, I've talked to in the, in the community, and, and you're such a cool guy, and you still are, of course, and uh, and we started trading watches back and forth, and, and that really helped me a lot, man, so like, and then I think I was, the first time I ever did a stream, I came on your stream and uh, and had a blast, man, so, you know, anytime, anytime you want to come on, you know, you can just send me the word, but uh, what do you got on wrist today, man? I'm wearing that Mission Impossible Casio. I've actually been oh. wearing this one a lot. Yeah. On little watch. Yeah. Do you wear that at work a lot now too? Or do yeah. you still wear that Metal G-Shock? Yeah. I've been uh, sw swapping back and forth between that and the Metal G-Shock. Excellent. Nice. Ahmed, um, hey, what's up, man? Hey, Rob. Hey, Chris. How's it going, guys? Good, man. Good. You got a nice little Hawaii shirt there, man. I've never been to Hawaii. Have you? Never. <laughs> no. Yeah. My brother-in-law's uh, family just went and sent me some shirts, so... <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. So you know, my brother-in-law goes to Hawaii, and all I get is this, this T-shirt, right? One of those, like, you know, kind of things. Yeah. He said, <laughs> I think they gave us other stuff too, but yeah. Anyway, it's a shirt. Yeah. You ever, you ever plan on uh, going to Hawaii or someday? I would like someday. to go. Yeah, yeah, I think me too. Chris, have you ever been? No, never been. My yeah. uh, brother and my sister-in-law went on their honeymoon, but yeah, no experience there. I'd love to go at some point. Yeah, I've had a few a few uh, friends of mine um, who went who went there for their honeymoon, um, and uh, and my cousin who lives in San Diego, she goes she goes there all the time. I think she might be even moving over there at some point. Uh, but uh, yeah, I definitely have to one of those like bucket list vacations, right? Places mm -hmm. that you got to go to, from what I understand. So, uh, Amin, what do you what do you have on wrist tonight? Wearing the uh, Sartori Billard. Yeah, nice. So I saw that you put something on like a little. What a minute long uh, video on Instagram was that Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Are you are, do you did you do a review on this one? I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. I okay. just I just um. Let me switch cameras here for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I won't do this every time. I promise. No, no, dude, do it. Do it. But uh, yeah, it was basically this, right? I, on mm -hmm. on on Instagram. Yeah. Um, it's it's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, the light nice. play. It's got yeah. fingerprints all over it now. But anyway, uh, switch back here. So I mean, you know, there was a time where you maybe thought uh, of well, I, I mean, I don't know how seriously you thought about it, but you you considered maybe parting ways with it, but uh, but then decided against it. And uh, I think I, I think I was never like close to doing, it, but I I was like, you know, how those watches that you think. Maybe someday. Yeah, I'll, yeah. It, it, it's uh, it's it was on that. It's it's always been, mm -hmm. you know, possibility. You know, I, I always have a little bit of conflict. But, yeah, yeah. But I, but I do love it. You know, there's yeah. just there's just a endless number of um. I mean, there's so many watches that are awesome. I hear you. I hear you. And yeah. you know, just enjoy it while you while you enjoy it, man. Those are made to order, correct? Yeah, yeah, and, and now the wait on them are it's like a year, right? I mean, at least I thought the uh SPO4s were still six months, okay? But okay. I, I, I read that somewhere, but um, more and more, I feel like I just don't want to sell at all. But mm -hmm. who knows? I, yeah. I don't mean I don't even mean this watch, I just mean in, in general, in general, yeah, yeah, but I don't know, there's always conflict there, so. So you had a, a twelve watch rule, right? Was it twelve? Did you? It feels was like it, a long time ago. It feels yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. So, so if you if you don't if you're not gonna sell, if you don't feel like selling, um, you know that number seems like it, it would go it will go, go higher, up. right? Yeah. 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 yeah th I'm getting to a point where where my collecting that um, I'm pretty sure that um, unless something magical happens or something that i really want um i see like you know like a 
a gold uh, Parmigiani uh, Tonda at the right price. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, then, then a lot of things may be, you know, um, up for grabs, you know, in a sense, you know, mm-hmm. um, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm fine tuning what I like. Right. And mm-hmm. I think, I think that's what's happening with you too. You know, you're, you're, you, you're more confident with, or your, your purchases have been on the money spot on. Thanks. Thank you. I, I, I think that my, I want my rate to slow down and mm-hmm. like, ideally I think I'd like to get maybe one nice watch per year. Yeah. I like that idea. And uh, maybe some, some less you know, some inexpensive ones, uh, I'll be more liberal about. Yeah. But I think maybe one nice watch per year is where I'd like to go. I'm yeah. hoping next year is the first year that I keep it to that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Me, me too. I hope, hopefully like, you know, like, a, like, uh, I, I can see myself, <laughs> I can see a lot of scenarios. Yeah. I can see myself getting like a, like a nice, like I'm, I'll bring it up again, Parmigiani, like a, like a Tonda or even like a Torque, right. An mm. older, older one. And then like, Two or three sumos. Mm. <laughs> you, yeah. know I mean? you know what I mean? That, that sort you, of you, thing you'll for collect me too. sumos like Rob does Z Shocks, huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, that's the, that's how I feel today, right? That's how I feel right now. That mm. that I, I I really like the sumo, and I I could get more of them because they're they're just so cool. Um. Anyway, let's keep moving. I'm I'm I got this um the uh, the Heinrich uh, Toscher, uh, which means mm. diver in in, in German. Uh, awesome. I, I went out, uh, to dinner last night with, uh, the wife and the kids and and my wife's cousin and, um, you know, the light play in the evening, you know, this has awesome light play too. Um, probably not as awesome as, as, as your Satori, but, uh, very, just the cool green dial diver. And I, yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. Um, let's, uh, let's check cool. up with the chat first here and Bobby first all the way at 6.59 p.m. That You're cheating, Bob. You're cheating. <laughs> Another uh, Rob. What's up, man? How you doing? Um, Mountain Standard Time is here. Underachieving Watch Collector. What's going on? Hey, Sanjay. How are you? Uh, good to see you, Chris. Uh, let us know what you guys are, are wearing on wrist here. Bill K. What's up, man? How are you? Happy week uh, and watch friends. Peter C. What is up? Good to see you as well. B Dev. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Chaz from the Berg with a big day today. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Cassioke. What's going on? Time Hill is here. Uh, James Arthur. Hey, hello everyone. How are things today? Very good, sir. Um, scrolling down, scrolling down. Oh, skipped. I got skipped. Uh, Thomas, how are you doing? Good to see you. There's ID guy, Nefarian's here. Uh, Riss Ross, what is up? Um, Dan, how you doing? Armand closed his books for the year. I uh, wonder, uh, are you sure that includes the SBO4? It may. I mean, I know there's been a lot of attention, so I, I it might that, that might be something new where he did yeah. that. Hawaii is a common vacation spot for us West Coasters. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, everybody that I know on the West Coast, it goes to Hawaii. I guess like for us in the East Coast, uh, Caribbean, right? Mm, you know? Yeah. Mm. Um, so for the West Coast, uh, Hawaii makes sense. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Although although I think from like California, that flight is like five hours, right? I mean, from, from where I'm in New York or New York mm. area, uh, to go to San Juan, it's about three and a half hours. So. Mm. Um, I like that a little bit better. I, I hate flying. <laughs> I hate flying. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's give up some more props. Mezzanine, what is up, man? How you doing? Hey, Jeffrey's here. Brownie, Joe Silva, AZ, Clayton's here. Uh, Deech, uh, what is going on? Sands of Time is here. Uh, blue shirt. Hey, hope you're feeling better, man. Nice to have you uh, on. And uh, let's scroll all the way down. And hey, there's Colin. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Hey, Colin. Colin, what do you got on race hey. today, man? Pepsi. Pepsi. Yep. Yeah, so it's, it's it's either Pepsi or overseas, right? 
pretty like, much right now. Yeah, that's that's all I wear. Well, I mean, I sprinkle in. I almost forget you have other watches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they dominate for sure. Good for you, man. I yeah. mean, if I if I could find like if I could have like the two watch combo, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, you guys Dominic, doing? good man. Good, you good. Good. Awesome. Dominic's here. Uh, Wilson, what's up? How are you? A desk diver, he's wearing the SPV069. Uh, I feel like I should know what that is. Is that is that a sumo? I, I don't know. <laughs> Let me look that up. <laughs> uh, I'm bad with reference numbers. Is that the one like you used to have on it or no? Oh, it's a blue enamel. Oh, oh okay. Uh, Nickname Shippo, which I don't think is related to... <laughs> My man, I'm not making this up. Uh, let me. Can I share my screen? Absolutely. This is unbelievable. I wonder uh, if this has anything to do with uh, Craig Ship. <laughs> I would ha have to say probably not. Right. Uh, nah, he pushes. He pushes more Grand Seiko yeah, than regular yeah, Seiko. <laughs> yeah. So it's a poor man's Craig Ship. It's. Uh, and the that's not, Yeah. The Shippo. The blue enamel Seikos are sweet. I I I really dig them. I I saw them in, in person recently, yeah. and uh, really nice. I I would love to see one of them in person just as a reference point because I I you know I had spent some time with a an Anordain, mm. and uh, I'll have that review out uh, tomorrow. Um, and the enamel on on that one is um, it's beautiful. It's mm. beautiful. You know, yeah. um, what's the go go to the case back the Prasad's lineup for the money is some of the best money for watch you can get yeah what what is that like half moon and gold color what is that is that is on the a, sapphire or looks like it's on the sapphire but I, i'm not sure oh no, no it's, it's like under it's the not. rotor yeah it's under the rotor you're right hmm. Hmm. or is that strange. a reflection that, that is strange yeah i'm sure somebody on um yeah, the stream could tell us. Uh, oh. Kevin does he does like the Rushi Dal Seikos. Bobby with a dig, the Shido and the Shippo are interchangeable. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so rude! I'm glad so. Bobby said it, and not me. <laughs> yeah, you would have you would have caught all sorts of hell. Yeah, uh, if you would have said it. <laughs> Uh, poor man's Craig ship is a scooter and an iPhone camera. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's, all right. All right. Let's fail money. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, man. Brendan. Brendan's got this Navit timer on. <laughs> Justin EDC says, uh, I have a Sarks 055 VP Snowflake. Very nice. I don't know. Must be cosmetic. I'm thinking. Dib's got the El Primero on today. Um, it's symbolic, apparently, according to the desk diver. Has to do with the golden crescent of the sex hand, second's hand and a moon festival. Okay. Mm. Very nice. Uh, Bobby uh, saw a Mont Blanc Geosphere. Not a fan. Especially at 6K retail. Yeah, I like it at two. <laughs> <laughs> you, just take, you, just take, you just take any price and you're like, I like it for a third of the price. <laughs> that's basically. No, I've seen it and I, that's <laughs> what I, the conclusion I came to. <laughs> Time Mill's wearing his Yacht Master. Oh, good for you. Love that watch. Uh, love that watch. Speaking of watches, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's all we speak about, uh, basically. Um, let's uh, see what the group has got uh, lately uh, from Super Best, Super Best Friends. Keep going. You got it. Watch. <laughs> watch. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot for the life of me remember that. Uh, okay. Don't anyway, if we can all say watch with JC do, you can, you can do Super yeah. Best uh, Watch Friends. Dude, I, I'm, I barely can say that. 
uh, by the way. That um, one took me forever. That took me forever. It was a real challenge. He, he was mean mean making that one. He's yeah, got to change it now, though. Watch what CC do. it's got a new name right yeah or just watch what cho do watch what (laughs) cho do (laughs) that would be good oh that's awesome um so you know since i'm in stream there has been a few watches that have entered uh uh, the collective's collection and and then um let's share it up here and this is Chaz's. He so literally nice. got this hours ago. It came Congratulations, out. Congratulations, Chaz. You know so I'm a beautiful. fan. Yep. Well, you like those colors, Chris. He likes those colors for a different reason because he's a Tennessee Vols fan. You you uh, like it because of a Clemson. But um, Actually, this should be in the running. We were talking about great summer watches. That's, mm. that should oh, be in that's the a running. good point. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's got to be in the top five. well, too, for the size. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Congrats. Congrats. So unique too. Yeah, Mm. absolutely. That's why, that's what I really like about this one. Um, it's, it's different, uh, from the compared to the other planet oceans. Right. Mm. Um, then a GM one eight nine one. I'm not sure. Um, if it's somebody that is new to the group, but it looks like he picked up a, is that a pep? That's a Pepsi, right? No, it's no, just the black. It's black. With the green. Oh, it's a black. Okay. So the, the bottom green, over here yeah. throws me off a little the reflection bit. Reflection looks yes. almost root ish. Yeah. Uh, Discontinued. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Still a sweet up. watch, though. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent watch. I, Love I, that blue. I, I those yeah. for less than a sub, like on the gray market, I believe. Does it really? Hmm. I then a new- think so. That's so interesting, too. That, that, um, that, that, how long can that last? You know, I mean, they might be like the same price. Mm. Yeah, great looking it's, watch. It's subtle, and you don't see them mm. often. Nope. Mm. Sweet watch. Let's yeah. move on, and finally, Peter picked up this regulator. Um, very inex- uh, very affordable regulator. To he wanted to scratch that regulator itch, and this is the same one that uh, Bill Sanders actually has. So, uh, you know, Peter has credited or faulted uh, Bill uh, for for this pickup. So congratulations. It's cool. Um, I love uh, having a regulator uh, or had, having one in a collection. Um, maybe one day I'll do it again. Absolutely. It is a cool watch. I like the patterns they, they yeah. chose to uh, yeah. on the dial. It's got the kind of like uh, on the when you throw a rock in a pond type interference pattern. Like um, a like a ripple, it's it's like you see how it's it's mm-hmm. um throw two stones in the water, throw two stones in the water kind of look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, okay, and then um, yeah, I think it's cool. You don't yeah, see that too I, often. I like that Giyoshi where where they collide like that. Yeah. Um, super helpful. Was that you, Colin, who who sent a couple weeks ago to us uh, the guide of, for the different Giyoshi, or was that? I don't think it was me, no. Maybe was that me? Did I do that? <laughs> oh it's man. You. You're so helpful, Bobby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was I that helpful? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> caliber black 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 is my favorite GMT. Yeah. Um curious that they you know let this one well I guess that you know they, they have uh, the Batman and they have yeah, the Pepsi, and they also have the Explorer Two, um, and um, and then the, you have the um, the other one. Um, what's the other one? Uh, no, the root beer. But uh, oh, you're talking about watches. Yacht Master? Yeah, not the Yacht Master, but the <laughs> other GMT that's not that doesn't that uh, has a, a GMT in the calendar. Oh, Sky Dweller. Sky Dweller. Yeah. So. I guess I guess it was the odd man out. They'll bring it back and everyone will lose their minds. Yeah. Hmm. Give it five, ten years. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see here. Regulators are becoming increasingly popular for collectors at the moment for yeah, some reason. I've noticed that. Well, you have brands like, you know, um, uh, like Louis Arard. You I know? think they've... they've been very popular the last year or so and i think that's definitely helped yep 
Uh, Ken Spears checking in from Pittsburgh. Uh, Wilson thinks the Sky Dweller is the best Rolex. Might be. It might be. How how I've never tried one on. How how big is that? I mean, is they it, don't wear that big. It's forty two. Forty two. It's mm-hmm. pretty thick. Yeah, I can pull it off. But it is on the larger side on my wrist. Gotcha. But if if I could get one, I'd I'd snatch one up for sure. Uh, Mr. Cassio, I think I posted that guide on Combo Mine. Um, really? Okay, man, I'm I'm totally man. That short term memory is really mm-hmm. fading fast on, on my end. Um, yeah. Good for you for taking credit, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh Dib says uh Dorn Bluth and Zone has a really nice regular. They do. They do, but I don't know. I don't know if I, I I'd spend big money on a on a on a regulator though at this point. You know what I mean? Uh on a watch that I know that I'm probably not gonna wear a lot. So something like what 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 um Peter did, or I mean I'd bought that Steinhardt that had some issues, unfortunately. Like that's probably the max I would do. Uh, I, I'd definitely stay under a thousand, it, but look, I mean, if you find like a vintage Chrono Swiss, right. Um, that, uh, that looks, you know, for a good price. I mean, those, you know, they brought, they, they basically, um, you know, um, brought regulators to, to, to wristwatches. Right. I mean, they, they, they get the credit for doing that. So, um, I don't know. Um, oh, Thomas, thank you. What are the panel's favorite watches that they have tried on at ADs recently? Well, that's a pretty good segue, Thomas. Thank you for bringing that up because, Chris, you went to an AD in Charlotte, right? And you posted up some pictures. And you mm. came to a couple conclusions on a, on a couple of watches uh, that may have been different than your your you know, your know premeditated notions on them. So when, when we start off with you, Chris, tell us about that. Uh, my favorite that I tried on, I hadn't gotten a chance to try it until then in person or any experience in person was the GLC, the uh, Reverso, the large um, mm-hmm. duo face, which yep. was really, really killer. Of course, my seven and a half inch was perfect. And that watch actually really surprised me in person. And I can see, definitely see myself at some point adding one to the collection. But one that kind of really surprised me on how kind of bland it was, was the Grand Seiko Snowflake to me. Mm. Like I'd always kind of lusted after one, but seeing it in person, just it didn't really do it for me. I don't know what it was. It's overrated. Mm. That's why. Like the, the, the bracelet just seemed like for the price point, it just seemed a little cheap. I mean, I'm not knocking the watch. It's a great watch, but and it's just for what you pay for it. I don't. I, I personally don't get it. Yeah. It, it's almost like it's like the, the I'm trying to think of an analogy, but it, it was the best watch they had, but that was, you know, years ago. Right. Mm-hmm. And they've got better watches now. They have yeah, more interesting GMPs watches. They've great. got better finished watches, better dials, better bracelets. Like, the newer stuff is better than the snowflake and they've done nothing to upgrade the snowflake that I know of since they released it. Mm-hmm. So maybe they need to upgrade it. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think is going on? Do you think it's the, the, the collectors who are putting this watch in a, on a pedestal right now? Like you said, it's been around for a while and, um, you know, th- there hasn't been any changes. Maybe it's like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, but they have so many, so much greater, better, uh, you know, great models out there, new models yeah. that are just blow it out of the water, but we- we're not really talking about it as much. I think it's the easy button for people. People just, they hear people say, oh, the snowflake, the snowflake, and then they yeah. just all parrot it out and say the snowflake is great without actually seeing it or really mm. critiquing it. And they just, Go go with the flow and just say, oh, it's the snowflake is their best watch, and it's it's not. I I don't. I mean, just my opinion, but I, I think it's just easy to say the snowflake is an icon because everyone says that. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, saying it it's iconic is different than saying it's their best watch. I don't even think it's an icon though. Like I. People still buy icons. I don't think a lot of people are buying snowflakes anymore. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they are, but I, I don't know why it. you would buy it. 
unless they upgrade it. James, are you saying the snowflake melts Ooh. under scrutiny? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> let's just let, let's just think about that one. Yeah, I was about to say I, I just wasn't as impressed as I thought thought I would be yeah. in person. Like they had the um, what's the blue dial? Is it the spring dial? The spring yeah. or the winter? They had that have, there, and that's a killer dial compared to the snowflake. Like the mm -hmm. sky flake, or uh -huh. that's, yeah. yeah, they had that one there. And yeah. they, I, I liked a lot of their GMTs. They had a lot of the GMTs there, and those are mm -hmm. actually really really well made. It looks like yeah. Uh, Chaz saying uh, he hasn't heard anybody say it's their best watch. No. Uh, Joe says, uh, I agree with Colin. Snowflake is overrated. Uh, I haven't heard too many people say it's their best either. I've heard people say you should get it because it's their icon. Yeah. Which I don't, I don't agree with either, I but, but I don't should. agree with getting any watch because it's an icon. Like, I don't even see it as in their top 10. Like, usually an icon is still like a top watch in the catalog. To me, I don't even think like it's, it's in their top 10. It's definitely one you should try before you buy if you're able to. Yeah. Sometimes I Icon just, somebody might use it just to mean that it's their one. Of, it's their most well-known watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, like Colin mentioned for years, it was because it might have been the only watch that people really knew about Grand Seiko. Yeah. Right. Before they came out more with more recent editions, at least here in the U.S., uh, Brownie saying Snowflake has a great dial, but I agree with the whole package is a little underwhelming when compared to their other new models. Still like GS though. Honestly, I think the dial's overrated too compared yeah. to all that other new ones. But I'm being, yeah, I, I find the dial very underwhelming, even in like AD lighting, which is usually pretty good for those types mm -hmm. of things. Uh, Div is saying my spring, uh, my spring better than Snowflake. Fact, it is. It's Anchor Man, not Anchor Lady, and that's a fact. <laughs> uh, I, <don't> <laughs> uh, I, I think I quoted that wrong too. Um, <laughs> still good price at five and a half k with titanium case and spring drive. Kevin, think, Kevin, 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 Mike, lots of stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, that Reverso, which the one I tried on was a little more, but you can get a Reverso for right about the same price, I believe, King. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, Bobby agrees with Joey. Snowflake looks flimsy compared to the Four Seasons. Definitely agree. GS do many better watches than the Snowflake. Okay. I'm yeah, I mean, I got think... to come on and bash the Snowflake. I didn't get a. To, I didn't know I'd get to do that today. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay's agreeing that the Snowflake is nice but boring. Ooh, see, Sanjay yeah. knows. I know, and voice, and, 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 voice yeah. of authority. Yeah, when it comes to when it comes to Grand Seiko, I listen to Sanjay. You know, <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> um, uh, Navy Blue Monster Snowflake is there is their icon. He feels, and which is wish it was stainless steel instead of titanium. I don't okay. think it's going to be their icon forever. Yeah. You think something like the Godzilla may take its place? I don't know what, but there, there's better. Godzilla has printed crystal on the back. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. Hey, Justin, work is finally over. Glad you can join us, my man. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, okay. Um, so okay, so so going uh, with the the question, um, recently have you guys, Colin, have you seen anything recently at the AD that's you know that you've loved, blown your mind or? I haven't yeah. been in the AD for like okay, a couple months I think. Yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna try to go today actually, but uh, stupid family. They like <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're always getting in the way. I know. <laughs> They did Colin, what was the they last didn't care. What was the last time you went to an AD and saw a watch that like you that in 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 person was way way more impressive than what you had thought it was? Was it the Breguet seventy ninety seven? 
Might be, yeah. That might be, yeah. That one blew me away. Mm. I, I, I think that one. Yeah, I think you're right. You know what? I wouldn't have even pulled that out of the hat, but I think <laughs> you know remember, me better than myself. Yeah. Your first impression there. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, I liked it better than the longer one, and I had them like side by side, basically. And I know they aren't quite comparable, like different watches, but. Uh, I was more wowed by it. I still think if you can get the right price on the 7097, that it's ju- it would be an incredible watch to mm. put next to the Pepsi and the Vacheron. Mm. It really would. Yeah. If you if you can if you can if you can get the right price on that. Yeah, one where... prices haven't come down on those yet. Not really. You have the uh, three hander, the third gen. BC. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That would be quite the the uh, the picture. That's all, all you need, yeah. Uh, Wilson, last thing I tried on at the AD was a two 2021 Rolex lineup, no uh, movements. So, uh, Amen. Yeah. How about you? I mean, was it your Portugueser? Basically, the last thing that you've been. I think so. Like I've always uh, admired the Portugueser from afar, but I, mm-hmm. I never held it, looked at it, and thought like. Um, would it would it make the same impression i and so that day i i would say the whole i honestly there were so many iwcs that i liked that day the whole the whole yeah. kind of collection is beautiful even the ones that marcus hates the um what are they called portofino portofino yeah, even the it's portofino. a beautiful it's a good and expensive dress watch I'm, yeah i mean inexpensive quote but yeah air quotes but i yeah i was pretty much blown away by by iwc when i really was checking them out and handling them and was thinking okay i'm gonna buy an iwc today mm-hmm. I, I like their pilot watches i like their i, I feel i feel like they're um i i saw i think it was federico recently was talking about watch companies that are on the upswing watch companies that are on the downswing and he listed iwc as like still declining i don't mm-hmm. think so I yeah, think I, it's, so either. I think mm-hmm. it's now that, especially now that they're doing all these in-house movements, yeah. I think they're going to get their really their respect is is mm-hmm. on the and, climb. And, and those and in I, the know, those in the know, some in the chat have said yeah. there. If you peek behind the curtain, like some of them have, there are some really intriguing releases coming out yeah. that they're they're really starting to do some cool stuff. Yeah, and I feel like I really got the the you know, one that I've been thinking about for so long. So it, it feels good. Excellent. I um I haven't been to an AD in about a year. And the last one I went to uh, was a year ago was a, a Rolex AD and they had nothing. Um, other than that, I, I can't remember the last time I went to an AD. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I got to get out there more. I gotta, I gotta. One of these days, when the kids go to the in-laws for a weekend or a few days, I gotta find uh, an AD and just go and just get like you know, jump in a pool, the AD pool, and and just like figure out how to talk to people because I feel like I don't even know how to talk to people anymore, you know, face to face, you know, because of the last year and a half. So, um, Ross, Ross, I've been uh, considering getting a Cellini Moon Phase. Am I crazy? Mm. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful watch. I mean, I mean, if it's what you like, buy it. <laughs> if, if, if you're going to, you know, flip it in a year. No, you're going to lose your shirt. Probably. You're going to lose your shirt. But if you really like it, it's a beautiful watch. I Isn't think it is actually. Out? Isn't that the, the one that's hard to get? They discontinued everything but the moon, I think. I think they discontinued all Cellini's but the moon phase. I, I could be wrong. I might have the wrong one. But uh, uh, Sanjay says I'm squirming. I actually am really starting to like the Chilis for some reason. Uh, the, like I, I see the pictures of them now, and I'm like, oh, that is now not nice. to get political, but isn't that the one that uh, Barack has? Yes, he has the He has the, key, he has the, the date. Place? I think he has the date, possibly. The date. Okay. But he does have a Chilini. Yeah, we can discuss politician watches in a non-political way. It's beautiful. Way. It's I, a beautiful. I have watch. a Putin brigade. I don't, you know. Putin brigade. <laughs> yeah, I have the Putin yeah. brigade. This is a this is a beautiful a watch. Putin yeah, that's too classy yeah. for me. 
Honestly. It's beautiful. I, it is. I, I, would, I would wear that a lot. Yeah. It doesn't scream Rolex when you look at it either. No. And if you can get a deep discount on it, I'm not sure if you can anymore. But In fact, there's not too many Rolexes I'd rather wear than that. Ooh. Possibly an under-the-radar Rolex, if you can call one that. <laughs> it's a beauty. Yeah. Uh, the, the issue is that, like, you... When you start comparing it dollar for dollar with other things, you start waffling, right? Mm -hmm. But Ristross has a huge collection, so he can get away with it. Yeah. Uh, Sanjay uh, says he may prefer the snowflake over the white birch. He hates the white white birch, eh? He's been turning. He he says though he's come been coming around. Like the first time I think he saw it. Wasn't it like the day of the accident? Yeah, he was and, on a uh, bender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think he saw it again and, and maybe coming around. See, that um, first day, I think he he did kind of liked it, but he didn't like the price. And then he went cold on it. And maybe uh, now he's warming up a little, but it sounds like he's still not, you know, kind of cool on it. Yeah. Yeah. That that was a very um interesting moment, an interesting shock to the system, that accident. It really I would. I, I want to get him on on like a psychiatrist chair and and talk to him more about it. Maybe maybe a special edition of Watch Soup this Sunday. Maybe. Mm. Um, that was a, an iconic day. That was a was <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. Was I hope that, to have it. I hope to have a day like that. We'll, we'll forever <laughs> tell stories about that day. Yeah. Wilson IWC has many beautiful watches. Since since time, I take the snowflake over the white birch or the show show. Not a did I say that right? Uh, not a fan of the hyper texturized styles. What's a show show? No, don't know. <laughs> don't know what show show. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Faux show, don't know what show show. <laughs> um, ID guy, I, IWC, our boss would love to see more engineers. Yes, that's my favorite IWC. Mm -hmm. Rumor yeah. has it that you might be seeing that. Yeah. Like if 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 I had if I was hell bent to getting a, a pre owned uh, IWC, um, I would. That's what I would do. Engineer. It's a good deal. Yeah. It's yeah. it's not going to be limited edition or uh, European boutique only, are are they? Every, everything's <laughs> limited edition nowadays. Yeah. You know I mean? Right. It really feels that way. Um, IWC is uh, going to do big things with the Aqua Timer and the Engineer. Okay, I, I'd like to see what that, that's going to look like for sure, especially in Janor. Um, Mr. Cassio, I heard there are no more discounts for IWC in Canada. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think he's missing. If I get to the AD tomorrow, I'll find out. But uh, not too yeah. long ago, I was offered like 20 off pretty easily. Yeah. Dan is saying, uh, Riss Ross, bundle it up with the Steel Sports. But if they are kind of hard to find or in, in demand a little bit, I don't know if that's going to be a possibility, right? Um, the Blue Dial. Yeah, Kevin, the Blue Dial is, is beautiful. Uh, Thomas uh, agrees. Um, we don't know yet. Uh, we don't know for sure, Justin, if it's if it's discontinued. <laughs> um, but, Riss Ross, that's part of the plan. Discontinued. I think it means the literal moon, though. Yeah. Right. Uh, James Duffy, I went to three different ADs in week and three weekends. I saw one Cellini, two Lady Digest with diamonds. Too much new money in the San Francisco area. Mm. Mm. Boy, boy, boy. Um, can you it's get like a deal everywhere? Yeah, I think so. Right, it is like that everywhere. Right. I mean, I went to. The AD I went to last year was in Pennsylvania. I guess it's outside of Allentown, and I think there might be some affluent areas around there. So Allentown, PA. So um, there's Lehigh Valley Hospital System. So uh, you know they, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I think it doesn't matter where you go, right? Things are so much worse than a year ago too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would imagine. I would imagine new money, old money will be a Rolex AD will be near that. It's just like 
just like Trader Joe's and, and Whole Foods, they go to areas that they know that they're going to, you know, make money on, you know? So dude, I know several people who travel four hours by car to pick up a Rolex. Like, wow. I know people who do that, who come to my AD and drive four hours to pick up a Rolex. So. Yeah, but in Canada, I mean, everybody drives like hours and hours, right? I mean, like, you know, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I mean, you like, have you know, to, yeah. Yeah, because like it's very sparsely populated, right? I mean, I know a lot of you are concentrated in, in, in southern Canada and like Ontario and that other yeah, stuff. Yeah. There's, there's people who live in all other places, right? Yeah. yeah. Do they come? <laughs> do you think we just drive four hours like Willie knows? <laughs> Well, yeah, and you're with your reindeer and a sleigh, right? Four hours. Four just hours. hop on the moose and go. Just hop on a you have your, you have your dog sled. Mush. 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 Right? He's getting moon. Moosh. Come on. Uh, whatever. Try to get that accent in the mush. Uh, all right. I'll work on that for next week. Hey. Um. Okay. Yeah. It seems, it seems to be a lot different than a year ago in this area too. Yeah. Uh, I know a guy in Canada who drives four hours for maple syrup and Tim Hortons. <laughs> uh, get a load of this hoser, eh? All right. That's me, right? Um, by the legs, you should know where his subjects lives. Yep. Um, Man, okay. He doesn't need to know. Uh, the salesperson said that the ladies' uh, DGs were canceled orders too. They weren't e even uh, for the window. Hmm. <laughs> now, when I was at Windsor, um, Windsor Jewelers in Charlotte, they had just literally made a whole new section for Rolex. They bought the store next to them, <laughs> and they had nothing in there at all. Wow! Wow! It was completely. How empty. upset would you be? Or be like, you spend like a million dollars on your display, and they make you buy they everything off off Rolex, and they. All that stuff, and then they just they don't get you anything. Can I can I share my screen for a second? Absolutely. Just, yeah. I mean, just for our viewers, if you're mm -hmm. if you really care a lot about Rolex and you, your your local ads are terrible, and you live within easy driving distance of Boston, this this is the boutique where where I bought my wife's op, and uh, in the case the cases were full. They had a bunch of date just. They had, including forty-one millimeter date just in the cases. They had a thirty-six millimeter Wimbledon. They had a Milgauss, um, and they just opened this year. They're mm -hmm. I I was told the biggest Rolex boutique in America. If you read these sixty-one Google reviews, there's a bunch of people who are like, "I thought I would never get this watch." They I, they hooked me up, so. And the people there were the the lady who helped us was a was a watch geek. She was like showing me her friend's Lange triple split on her on her cell phone. Um, she was wearing a thirty nine mil. She she knew that my IWC with the bracelet was a new one. Like she recognized the the bracelet model. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. So so if you're like a couple hours away and you're trying to like you you know meet somebody who's a uh you know a watch geek and talk watches and maybe have a chance <laughs> i think that's a good place to start you're supposed to keep these things a secret yeah i was gonna say thanks for <laughs> sharing like that, a man. family affair right uh, we, okay. we got All what right. how many people on the stream we have this like isn't... hundreds of thousands of viewers yeah i know yeah. i know I feel, flocking. Like, I feel like the people in our chat this is our this is our <laughs> watch family <laughs> yeah they had let's a, get it covered uh, um and send me too. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying they had a paddock section too, but they only had pretty much ladies models paddocks there. Mm. They had like one of the men's. I can't remember what model it was. It wasn't a Nautilus, of course. So I don't know paddock that well. Uh, Nefarian says, I hear they call the road to Collins ID the road of tears. <laughs> uh, not true because there are Tim Hortons in every corner. Okay, so this setting the record straight. You true. don't have to drive four hours if you're in Canada to the nearest Tim Hortons. Uh, James Duffy, I think it's easier to find a McRib than a sports Rolex. <laughs> hey, Boy Spog, I got your email, buddy. Looking forward to receiving the Spirit Rider. Thanks again for the cool uh, giveaway. We'll be sending that out early next week. Um, just an, on an empty showroom full of green leather and condensation. <laughs> Condescension. Condescension or condensation. <laughs> um, 
Rolex makes you uh, do a huge build out if you want to carry. Yep. Kevin, so, you know, I don't know if you guys uh, read on uh, SB WF uh, <laughs> Discord uh, that uh, he was at a AD today and uh, there was a guy, a Rolex AD, a Torno actually. And a guy had come in and uh, I guess he got a, a text from or a message from the AD saying that we have Daytona's, Daytona's in. And, uh, and I guess didn't fi really finish that sentence off by saying, oh, and, and plus you can't buy one. So the guy went in there um, getting that kind of message and trying to buy a Daytona. And they were telling him, nope, no, these are just for you to view. And so um, he wasn't a happy camper, uh, according to Kevin. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think, I think uh, there's going to be a lot of that. I think the AD probably made the situation worse by not saying, oh, by the way, you can come see them, but they're just – not for sale. Um, but yeah, there's going to be some, some angry people out there and some really frustrated sales, sales people too. Uh, for sure. Uh, okay. Let's scroll down. Uh, Amin found the honey hole. <laughs> Amin, what's the salesperson's name? Road trip to Boston. KY yeah. to Boston. Too far? Oh, uh, Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky, yeah, yes, the ferry. No, 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 you that's, can that's go. That's not too far. No, that's not too far. Not you probably, hours, maybe, you probably have more luck um, hitting a, a Tim Hortons. Stop it! Canadian Every AD not, along the way. Not far yeah. at all. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> twelve mile, twelve hour drive. We do that every Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just put yeah. your Tesla on auto uh, pilot and yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Had to get it because we drive so much. Uh, Peter C., uh, what would be uh, that? Would be clickbait where they have Rolex in stock. Uh, there's a Tim Hortons in Kandahar. All right. Yeah. 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 Military base. Hey, Wayne. How you doing, buddy? All right. Let's get out of here. Okay. Wayne. Wayne Simmons Lignoski. All right. Uh, Kevin S. H. has not uh, was not very happy with that. A bit a bit of salesperson's nightmare. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> stop at every Rolex AD along the way for sure. Um, the Dubai expat flew to flew from Dubai to Texas to pick up his message. <laughs> That's right. He did. Did he really? He did. Yeah. 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 Uh, last, I think it was either late last year or early this year. That guy was very persistent. Like, yeah, he got some stuff though. Didn't he? I don't really watch him, but I watched he, a couple. So I feel like when I first started watching him, he had like, you know, the typical yeah. newbie collection, right? He had some Seiko's G shocks. And then all I, for some reason, like I, it's not that I chose to stop watching. I just, you know, I guess I, there's so much that I'm subscribed to. Right. I, and then all of a sudden, I, I I saw him like a year later, and he's got he's got a Pepsi. Um, he's got I think he's got an Explorer. He's got a couple of Rolexes, uh, some heavy hitters. You know, yeah, he's, I think he's got a Patek now even too, don't he? Shut up. Yeah, I like feel a good like one? I saw a video with him getting a Patek. I mean, I, the guy went to like every AD like anywhere, like and he like called like every AD in the world. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And and he finally got. It. I guess that's. that's what I guess that's what do. you got to do. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean. I mean, I, at that point, just buy a gray. Yeah, would would he have made more money? Like, uh, you know, how much was that, the flight in the hotel? And spending the, that time working. You know, I guess he's getting views too. Some kind so. of job. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know if he really chronicled it. But anyway, I mean, his his channel is blown up for sure. Um, I think any, any channel when you when you show off some Rolexes, we'll, we'll probably do well. But uh, so, you know, that's, that's a good, that's a good thing to talk about. Like what, what ends would you go to um, <laughs> to find the watch that you like? Forget about Rolex. Okay. I mean, or, or, or it could be, Rolex could be part of the, your equation. Uh, I know I'm in your, don't care if you ever get a Rolex or not, but I mean, if there was a watch for you, mm. um, what would be the, what would be the lengths? That you would go almost very you know very very little i'll say because there's always yeah. another watch for me that's easier yeah i think i think i'm with you 
I think I think that I that I can go to far lengths, but at the end of the day, like it's just like uh, it's just, we're just talking about a watch, right? You know, and and there's always, like you said, maybe something better that you like. Uh, Colin, Chris, what 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 would you guys do? Go ahead, Colin. What would I do for what? Sorry, I like, was what, what, this one. what? <laughs> no problem. What um what lengths would you go to to get the watch that you want? Like that guy called all over the world, right? He yeah. he did all this kind of crazy stuff to find what he wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I mean, I guess I'd do the tramp stamps and stuff like that, like you did before, but uh, <laughs> on your videos, no. But uh, I, I'll put in time, but I don't. I won't like fly across countries. Like would I, would I drive, like I said, like maybe four hours to Toronto? Sure. Yeah. I would, if, if I, someone called me and said, Hey, come get this. I'd probably take a half day off work and drive and go get it. Like to me, that's not a huge deal. Uh, I but would I wouldn't too. like, yeah. You're not, it's not like, like the, what you do, you've got an AD, you like going there. You yeah. like talking to them. Sometimes mm-hmm. you get a great uh, in-demand watch from them, but mm-hmm. it's not like you're trying to have that same relationship in a place four hours away and a place or six a hours away. away. And, yeah. 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 I, um, last year when I was, when I had that Rolex etch and, um, I, um, I was starting to liquidate the collection a little bit. I called every AD in, in the state that I live. Um, and uh, and also email, and I never spoke to anybody. Never got, never, you know what I mean. Never had a conversation with anybody. And look, I mean that's probably the bare minimum, really bare minimum. I like I didn't really set foot into any other place except for the one in Pennsylvania. Um, but it's hard for me, right? Um, actually, emails let me see that. Work. Emails, emails don't, don't work. work emails don't work. You got to go in person. The nearest dealer is 45 minutes to an hour away. I mean, Colin, your guy is four hours away. So I was uh, in the middle of, of saying that it was hard for me. I just realized, I realized that. And I'm like, uh, what kind of, that's, I have a weak excuse. Like, Mine I just isn't four hours away. Oh, I thought I, you're, you have to drive four hours away to your. I'd no, probably go to Charlotte or uh, Raleigh because they're about the same drive. Oh, pick yeah. Pick one up. Mine's like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. All right. yeah, I don't yeah. know why I no, heard I'm just hours. saying if if I found oh. out that there was one four hours away, I would go. Yeah. But I wouldn't like try to cultivate a relationship that far away. Yeah. Chris, you would you would uh Yeah, I'd probably go about three and a half, four hours away. Yeah, like yeah. Charlotte, Raleigh, I've been there before, not too bad of a yeah. drive, or I would get a hold of some of the sources that I know, and if neither of them could get a hold of it. Mm-hmm. Then I wouldn't worry about it. it. Just wasn't meant to happen, right? You know, just to say it has to be within a day's drive for me, or if they would ship it to me, flying just seems ridiculous. Rolex will we'll not ship. ship. They won't ship, right? So. I mean, especially your first. If it, if it's your first Rolex with someone, they will not ship. I've heard that sometimes they will if it's like you're an established customer. Mm-hmm. But even then, they're not supposed to. But I've heard that. It happens. Uh, Mr. Cassio, I drive a day to get a Kari. Well, I think a lot of us would do that too. Yeah. I would yeah. drive a day to get lots of watches that I like a lot, like yeah. if they were yeah. available. Yeah. If you were guaranteed to get it. Yeah. From yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I think I would do that too. Yeah. I mean, it's a road trip, man. You know? So yeah. Stop at Roy Rogers halfway, you know, and. Get a roast beef sandwich. Uh, James, my favorite AD said that they received seven 2021 models last week, more wow. than they received in the three months prior. They first have hmm. to fill the order list that built up before oh. Rolex stopped taking orders. Floodgates are open. Flying a, uh, across the world to acquire a super piece <laughs> is a flex it, in itself. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there are too many watches I like within my reach without having to cross the world. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm not going to fly to Europe or I wouldn't fly from here to Dubai to pick up a watch. I mean, that's just, that's just bananas, man. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, unless, unless, unless it was my jet, unless it was my jet, right. <laughs> if it was my jet, right. If it was your jet. It, and all that comes with it, 
you know what I mean? For, for having a jet, you know, like then, yeah, <laughs> then I'd go. Right. You don't need to fly to get one. If you have your own jet. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to just like flex and say, Oh yeah, I flew yeah. my jet. Yeah. Flew my jet here. Yeah. Uh, Central Carolina represent. All right. Uh, Dan, I flew in and drove back 10 hours for a car. Yeah. Okay. If it makes financial sense, sure. If it, if it was your jet, they would come mm -hmm. to you. Well, you know, look, I mean, uh, how about I, I fly in and then they come and meet me at the tarmac? You know what I mean? How about that? <laughs> how sweet would that be if they like <laughs> roll up and yeah. just do everything right on the tarmac? I, I roll up in my Size rear. Bracelet right the tarmac. Yeah. yeah. Man, and I'd just be, like, hurry up. I got to go. <laughs> oh, man. I'd, I'd be totally decked out with like an Adidas jumpsuit. Oh, <laughs> so Baby awesome. blue. Baby blue. Baby blue. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. You know? Some bling. <laughs> <laughs> And I got, I got, I got some, I got some ideas. Uh, Cuba, Wilson, Cuban chain. Cuba, yeah. Cuban link. Yep. All relative. If you're picking up a 5k watch, no, no. But if you're picking up a 200k watch. Hmm. Oh, Thomas, thank you again for the, for the super chat. What are the panel's favorite recent releases? I think if I'm picking up a 200k watch, I would, I would be a dork and go tour the, uh, the, the watchmakers studio and, um, you know, meet the watchmaker, all that, all that stuff. So I'd fly out there. Yeah. Uh, any favorite releases recently, guys? I, I, I like that new Citizen Bullhead that I that I told oh, you about. Oh, yeah, we haven't gotten to that. I, I think it's like yeah. two hundred fifty bucks. Somebody said that. May, maybe that's wrong, but whatever the the yen conversion is, it's quartz, but it's 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 a cool style. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Chris, I haven't anything? really seen too many that's kind of picked my interest lately. No. What about you, Colin? Anything tickling your um, fancy? I'm looking through the releases to jog my memory right now. <laughs> um, not that you know, this year I feel like there haven't been a ton this year that have really got me going. Um, I like that Habering, the salmon Habering that came out. Mm -hmm. The monochrome, yeah, that was nice release. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think of the new Habring um, the with stars. the stars on it? Oh. We haven't talked about that, right? Yeah, yeah. We haven't gotten to new releases, but uh, oh, you're that, gonna you're gonna pull them up? Well, I mean, we're almost at ten o'clock, but um, Who cares, man. Let's go to eleven. <laughs> let's go to eleven. Yeah, let's do a few new releases. Absolutely. Can you? Can let's I pull get, that I, one out? I, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right. Um. Well, I'm not finding it on mono monochrome. Uh, uh, bring uh, what's it called? Stars. <laughs> Stars. That, sorry, that pulled it up. Here we go. Okay. So you're you're much better uh, at this than I am. I do agree. Um, Sam Jay just brought up a good point. I do like that new Alpinist, the 1959 reissue. I can't Alpine decide if I like this. Irwin Star. I mean, it's deadbeat seconds. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. I need more time to think about this. I, I might love. love it. I might love it. Honestly, I, I, I can't decide. I love Havering, but I, I'm not a fan of that one for some reason. <laughs> Justin Sand looks like a fancy Longines Admiral. Yeah, maybe. Bobby, thank you, Bobby. Money for Bobby to buy, eat, pray, love during his fast. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bobby. Uh, um, and you want to be? I, I really like the new Appleness reissue. I'm leaning towards. I like it. Yeah, if it had no date, I think it would be perfect on the uh, new Appleness. What about? All right, on the opposite end of the spectrum. Up the the citizen. These guys. I like that. How much are they? I think two two ninety five. Somebody says that's not bad. Something like yeah, under three hundred. You quartz. know, 
you know, but that's that's a fun watch. Yeah, it's a cool looking mm -hmm. watch. For three hundred bucks. Yeah. You and know, a like good competitor with the uh, Seiko Flighty, even though the Flighty is not a bullhead, but it's around the same price range. They can have three hundred bucks for me for that. Yeah. 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 I like it. So cool. I think I, like I think I, th I think the lot the the common complaint with uh, some of these bullhead um, chronographs. Um, that have uh, manual or automatic movements on it. That the the weight displacement it, it might be a little strange, but with a quartz, does it? It looks like actually no. It actually looks like it's pretty flat. It's not like angled. Uh, the case Got so a good little wrap around the wrist yeah. thing yeah. going on. Looks like pretty short lug. lug what size lug. is it in there? Uh, let's see. She's probably pretty big. It says about two hundred fifty bucks. Hmm. That's not bad. And thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Oh, that's really? not bad at all. Same as the original. Where do you wow. buy these? Japan. Japan. Yeah. yeah I might man. try. I'm, I'm gonna try to snag one. I think. Yeah. You take. Uh, whoa, whoa, Seiya but... would sell it. I think Seiya is the Japanese market. I, I, I checked Seiya today. I checked Japan online store today. Nothing. They didn't but, have um, it. But I mean, I, I thought you're waiting for me to break my fast before you broke yours. Yeah, I was never too serious about this whole <laughs> fasting thing. <laughs> I know it, man. I know it. What's the uh, name of this? Just Citizen Bullhead. Yeah, they're. It's on Worn and Wound. They've got. I think they've got the model numbers there. Justin think those uh, pushers look like Shrek ears. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, like Jason. Shrek. What's up? Hey. Peter likes it. The they they sell proof. Panda, Navy, and then Reverse Panda. And then they're, they're saying mm. the Reverse Panda might be limited to specific retailers. But the mm. other two should be more widely available. I think Rick or, yeah, Rick ordered one of those um, Harborings. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Riss Ross, I'd buy this as well, but guaranteed it goes in the bin at some point. That's okay. Yeah. Here, right. I, I found one for sale, but it's all in Japanese text. So, Ooh, that's cool. You just be clicking buttons and hope you get to a checkup. <laughs> <Pay> dirt, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> if you guys were looking for Havering, by the way, there's a boutique in uh, Philly. Yeah, Martin. Yeah, yeah. Martin Pulley. Yeah, real nice guy. I got to meet him a couple years back when I went there. Oh, cool. Cool. Um, Sanjay says I should take some legal action against you, Amen, for breach of verbal contract. <laughs> um, it's not a contract. It's a contest, right? Besides, or is this a contract? If it's a quartz chrono, well, it doesn't count, right? I mean, just like G-Shock. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of technicalities here. Like, what if I order it and Rob breaks his fast and his arrives first, right? And mine's still on on route from Japan. Then I would say that I'm the winner, right? It's not who pulls the trigger first. It's who... No, no, no. Money has to leave your account, man. That's the that's the line. Well, th you're spending the money. You're, you're the endorphin of spending uh, th that is released when you spend the money. The high. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> I, I always thought it was when you got the watch in. Yeah, but I mean, uh, well, I mean, the, it's almost like an afterthought when you get the watch. It's like the hunt, and it's the actual purchase, and the clicking of the button, and the filling out the address and I want the shipping two days, not three days, you know, that's, that's where you get all, that's what I'm talking about. I, know, I guess I mean, we're talking about two different things. Uh, does purchasing watches on different continents count? I mean, Bobby just got his watch from Germany, but I paid for it last year. I paid for it. Last he's year. making, he's making the rules to, to, no. to fit his, what is what no, these were, these were all laid out. These were all laid out when I made that insane statement that I'm going on a watch fast. All right. 
Um, Bobby looks, uh, uh, if you buy a Franklin half dollar dial watch, is that considered collecting coins and not break? No, no, I, I have to throw in like coins uh, in this too. Like anything that is going to achieve that same effect um, is breaking the fast in my, my point of view, you know? Look, it's been almost, it's been almost 30 days, you know? It's been almost 30 days, guys. Are they gonna release a citizen in North America? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know. It's, I feel like maybe, I'm doing something really shady here. But. At thirty millimeter, thirty-eight millimeters, it might. Uh, might they might not? Yeah, the smaller size you get more uh, common here, though. True. Mm. Ahmed is buying the bullhead for his channel. There you go. You can write it off as a tax write off, right, Em? <laughs> I've never done that. That's a good idea. I think that's legit. Yeah, it's legit. Uh, Chaz, what about book on coins? I didn't. That was a gift. The book was a gift. So, no collecting of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Until Until hopefully the end of the year, Justin. You know? Has anyone used this world shopping? <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. I, you over there buying it now, Colin? <laughs> maybe. Uh, it, it seems like I'm like buying something through a site that uses another site to do the international purchase. It's like they buy yeah. it for you from yeah. the site. Yep. And then they ship it. Is I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if that. I, I know there's sites like that. Um, I don't know if. I guess that that world of. Shopping it looks like I can use PayPal, so I should be all right. SSA. You should be okay with PayPal. Most most is the watch out yet? Paying. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I say I most why... purchases in Japan, I wouldn't trust probably. <laughs> I wonder why none of the usual places has it yet. Yeah, have you tried <laughs> eBay from that um, buy that seller? That's uh, AKA um, citizen. They wouldn't have it. They, they wouldn't they have would, it yet. They wouldn't no. have an in demand thing. No. Okay. I'm getting fished as we speak, according to Sanjay. So, so James is saying <laughs> that he's had good experience with proxy buying. That's what this is called. That's called proxy from, buying from yeah, yeah. services from Japan and by. Mm. Oh. Dib says he used world shopping and got his Corona from there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that the name of the I'm site, like... World Shopping? Well, I'm on this new via online store. But new... it says international shipping, and then you click on it, and then you have to like describe what you want to buy. And it looks like they buy it for you, and then they oh. arrange the shipping, I think. Kevin Saint, oh. throw in a uh, Citizen Promaster Godzilla before you go check out. Which one are you, you getting, Colin? I think it may be the white. Dan is saying Dan is saying Dan is saying Bai or Bai 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 has them in stock. (laughs) Sandra, today's live stream is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Is (laughs) Bai looks like it's a proxy thing too? Yes, it actually says Japanese proxy service. So how do you how do you get it? How do you find it? I don't know. Oh, here we go. I don't know how to work any of this stuff. This is yeah. uncharted territory for me. Yep. <coughs> send, use send me a link, link, Dan. Send me a link. Dib is saying use uh, Japan Select. I paid for mine with their website. Justin uh, is like, what about <laughs> Yoma Shop? Japan, Japan Select or Yoma Shop? Um, yeah. Oh, Yahoo Japan Shopping Tab. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Interesting. I'm sure this is captivating for the viewers. <laughs> well, I mean, I appreciate the help, though. Everybody, everybody seems to be still hanging on. So I'm, uh, I'm not. I'm not going to buy it. I'm just playing around. But I might buy it. <laughs> Dan is saying search AN3660. How does Dan know this stuff? Yahoo Japan Yapping. (laughs) 
Oh, you found it. Yeah. You wanna you wanna share your screen or? Sure. Oh, I found it too. Free ship ping. Free ship ping. That's what it says. Free ship ping. I mean, free shipping. Where are you? I'm on the Yahoo Japan site, oh. and I searched AN3660. Gotcha. But then it's like, which one of these guys do I want to send my 26,400 yen to? Hmm. Very interesting. They're going to get like 20 or 30 orders from the U.S. all of a sudden now. <laughs> oh, yeah. back order from this guy. Group watch. Group watch. <laughs> There's no way Marcus is buying this. Yeah, I'll can't, think about it. Can't use PayPal. Mm, oh, that other one I could. release in early October. I bet when it comes out, it'll be on the regular places. Oh, it's not even released yet? Yep. That's what it seems like. Mm. How many bucks is this? Like uh, 230, it's, probably. It's like 500 Canadian. Okay. Oh, look at the math in my head. Man. Yeah, that's impressive. Yuma Shop of Yuma, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool looking watch for 300 bucks. That's Yeah, that's a cool looking watch for 300 bucks, for sure. 200. $39. Santa saying 248 Say or can, something like that comes out with them. Yeah, you could do way worse than that for your money. Even, yeah. Doesn't say if it's Eco Drive. Yeah, who cares? Credit card only. Early October release. Mm. That looks You want to pay slowly? I'll right, maybe I'll the pay, original. Maybe I'll pay slowly. <laughs> Gonna go on a payment plan. <laughs> Is that what it says? You want to pay slowly? Yeah. Pay slowly. Cash on delivery. Cash on delivery, man. Yeah. <laughs> Write him a check in your driveway. I will hope for gift wrapping. <laughs> <laughs> no, or I hope so. <laughs> I, I, gift wrapping? I hope. <laughs> I hope. I mean. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's awesome. I, I do I do I do want PayPal. I want some place I can use PayPal. Yeah, that world shopping one seemed to uh allow it. Mm. Oh okay. So that is the same. It's not eco drive. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the free shipping is to the proxy services warehouse, and then you have to pay for shipping from the proxy warehouse to your mm. place. So like if you bought that bought this now, you wouldn't get this till Hmm. Like, do you not know what the shipping is going to cost? I so I bought from Japan, uh, Japan, <laughs> uh, shopping, uh, Japan, shopping Japan, one of those sites, and I don't. That one looks pretty legit. It does, but it's sold out. This yeah. one, it says mm. it's going to be released October fifth, and they've already pre-sold out. Mm. It depends on whether they use DHL or not, because DHL is usually fairly quick. Yeah, Dan, Dan is saying twenty dollars shipping to two days. Oh, that's not bad. That's not shipping bad. is usually twenty to forty. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> order, me one, too, um, sure. order me one too. Sure. Order me one. Use your credit card. I'll I'll send you the money. It's gonna sell out. <laughs> Sanjay is saying, I'm um, going to think you should fly to Japan and pick up the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Dib is saying, I just bought mine 10 minutes ago. Where, Dib? Where? Oh, he did? Well, we were all trying to figure it out. He was already checking out. <laughs> I, guess, I think we've been trying to figure this out for 10 minutes. <laughs> Well, as we wait for Dib, um, he says Japan uh, dash select. It says sold out after I got mine. Oh yeah! Oh, well, that's oh you got the last one. You got the last one. <laughs> Damn you! Thanks, Dib. Dib you. 
Um, well, guys, we've fun. we've had a lot of fun tonight. I think. Mm -hmm. um, Chris, what do you got coming up on the channel? Um, if the video ever uploads, it's taking forever for some reason for YouTube to upload my shopping in Charlotte video. I'll show you guys the Grand Seiko. I got to check out a Arnold and the Sun Torbion. It's like a forty thousand dollar Torbion, which is pretty crazy. Oh wow, nice! But um, bunch of other cool pieces. Um, so that one should hopefully drop within the next couple of days. Like I said, if YouTube ever processes that, yeah. And then I have a um, giveaway watch from Saltzman. It's nothing crazy, but. Victorian Ox, Rich oh, nice. yeah, yeah. sent this into the channel for me to give away. So look for that soon. Awesome. So, so. Awesome. And you guys can check uh, Chris out the YouTube channel, uh, The Watch Lounge. Um, and what, what's your Instagram? It's uh, The Watch Lounge. Um, With an uh, underscore? Under, underscore, yeah. At the, at the end? Mm hmm Yeah. Um, Amin, anything, uh, anything coming up? Still maybe, uh, I think some reviews. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Portuguese <laughs> review. And uh, probably Longine review. You haven't Excellent. done the Portuguese one yet? I haven't done a lot of my watches yet, mm. like old watches. I just did the Moser uh, mm. last week. And yeah. uh, I don't think I've ever reviewed the Breguet. The, there's, a, there's a lot of... I haven't. I'm lazy. Yeah. I haven't done the Jaeger and Benzinger. I haven't done the Kadoke. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to take me a little time to do that because... I just want to get those right, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. and get the and get like the the right, you know, macros, macro shots, mm. you know. The six of okay. five, I want to do this. The black one, it's, it's yeah, that would yeah. be a less a fun less watch. effort one. Yeah, it's not like either of you guys have like reviews in your name or anything, so it's fine. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's not a YouTube channel for. <laughs> One and a half videos. One and a half, yeah. One and a half videos, but he's got multiple, you know, it's Instagrams. True. Very, you know, very. So. both it's Full time you know, job. Full time job. Going, going really <laughs> good. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining uh, panel. Of course, always, Chris. Thanks uh, for coming on. Thanks and for having me. Chat, uh, street chat. You guys are awesome, as always. Mm -hmm. uh, the best part of the show, in my opinion, is, is, is the stuff that you guys say. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys at Watch Soup on Sunday where I sit Sanjay down and talk to him about that fateful day with a car accident. Um, and we'll, we'll get a deep dive uh, to, to what he was thinking that day. Anyway, guys, have a good night. And uh, we'll see you next week. Take see care. You guys. Pretty good chat.